Zags win big by 38. Ouch. And shocker, Rui had a big game with 21 points and eight boards. But hey, enough from me. I'm just trying to hold down the fort while sports director Keith Oso and Alyssa Charleston are with the Zags in Salt Lake right now. And guys, you just talked with the team a week and a half after their loss to St. Mary's. What was the locker room like tonight? A little different. <laughs> <laughs> a lot less tears, a lot more players willing to talk to us, a lot less <laughs> glares. I mean, they were pretty angry after that loss to St. Mary's. They knew they had a chance to have a perfect regular season and postseason in WCC. That's something that's pretty rare in that conference, and they let it slip. But they admitted a little bit tonight that it kind of reignited that fire that they had earlier in the season, and they kind of unleashed a little bit. They unleashed the fury, as we talk about sometimes tonight. They really dominated this game from start to finish, Alyssa. We kind of knew three or four minutes into the game that there was no chance that Fairleigh Dickinson could compete with them. Yeah, you like to call ball game like three minutes into the game. <laughs> they had a, they developed a lead really early on, and you talked about it. They kind of got back to what they'd been doing in the WCC, and that is dominating their opponents. It was wasn't the, quite the same as they normally do. It was 27 and a half points in WCC season, but they did it by playing good defense, coming out on fire, and uh, they're used to it. But tonight was still a little different. Uh, I mean, we pretty we had some pretty dominant performances, so I don't know about but it, it was a good one, honestly. But uh, you know, when we're playing the ball, when we're sharing the ball like that, you know, playing with our pace, uh, it's, it's hard to stop. You know, honestly, it felt like almost everything worked, especially offensively. But I think that's kind of been the story all year. As long as we play hard and move the ball, share the ball, um, play inside out, get post touches, get kick out threes, um, and get out in transition, which starts with you know playing really solid defense, which I think we did tonight as well. Nah, it was big time, you know, and when we play like that, you know, we're tough to beat. Um, so we've got to, you know, carry this confidence and carry this momentum into the next one. Yeah, dominated from start to finish, and they're going to be humble about it, but it does get them back on track, and they need to get back on track because they've got Baylor, who just upset uh, Syracuse. Baylor was a nine seed. Those games are always pretty close, but we now know the game time. It'll be Saturday, 4-10 Pacific, 5-10 here in Salt Lake City. We always get those times messed up, but you should know. It's 4-10 <laughs> Pacific, and it's going to be really interesting to see that Baylor team shot the ball well tonight. Gonzaga has really good offense, like the most efficient in the country. We'll see if their defense can hang with them. Baylor a little bigger and more physical than I anticipated tonight. They really were able to hang with Syracuse that plays a really tough slow down zone defense. Mm -hmm. Baylor able to shoot over the top of it and play physically with the, with the, the orange. So no matter what, this next game going to be a lot harder than the one Gonzaga had today. But if the Zags play like they did tonight, they're going to win that game and come out of here with two wins and head on to Anaheim for another Sweet 16. We have a lot more coverage here for uh, Gonzaga Bulldogs in Salt Lake City, including live on Good Morning Northwest. So if you feel like staying up for a couple hours, we'll see you here in Salt Lake City. <laughs> but for now, with Alyssa Charleston, I'm Keith Oso, KXOY4 Sports. Thank you, guys. I wish we could play a 16 seed every round, but I guess we'll just have to settle for Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll make that work. <laughs> right, thank you guys so much.